All right, next question is from Zona Guy. Hey, Zona Guy. Zona Guy says, Hi, Robbie, can you help me or point me in the right direction to get my Canon MX700 multifunction printer working in 8.10? Mm. It's a networked printer over an Ethernet connection that works perfectly with XP and Vista. <laughs> Scanning would be a plus. <laughs> But if I could just get it to, pr to print, that would be great. Thanks in advance from Zona Guy. Mm. Okay. I'll do my best, buddy. Anytime anyone says Canon, I go... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> or Lexmark. Uh, okay, so what we want to do is visit uh, Linux Printing. So this is the Linux Printing Database, linuxfoundation.org slash en slash open printing with capitals on it. So what we want to do is find out if your printer is supported. So go over here, go up to printers. Go to show all printers made by Canon. And I'll need that uh, model number there, Carrie. Uh, I think it was MX700. Okay, so I'm going to type, I'm going to hit Control F, which is going to bring up my yes. find dialog. MX700. There it is right there, the Pixma. MX700. I'm going to click on that. And it tells me your printer is a paperweight, which is uh, the equivalent of saying, you know what? Don't bother. It's not worth your while. Just go out and buy a better printer. Um, and, uh, you know, we hate to say that, That's but so it's funny. It calls it a, paper a paperweight. I call it a boat anchor. Um, and so you can, you can scroll down, and they, they will tell you, you know, this is what what other people have done to get certain features working. It looks like uh, it says it seems to work under Linux with proprietary driver turbo print by USB link, but network supports requires this and this, and people have had trouble getting it set up. So it might be possible if you follow the instructions on that website, but it's, like they say, a paperweight. So um, usually any anytime I'm going to buy a printer, I'm going to check out this database first. I want to know that that printer is going to be uh, supported in Linux. And it's not Linux's fault, it's the manufacturers. They need to forget about, uh, you know, they need to start uh, developing specifically for all different platforms, not just for, uh, for the commercial ones. Let's put it that way. So, so it's unfortunate, but uh, good luck with that. But they do say that the USB link should work for you. All right. All right. Sorry, I'd love to give you better news. But at least that shows you where to look when you're going to replace it. 